Hi readers, Chris here. Before I jump into today's video, I wanted to do a little special shout out because I got some book mail and I wanted to open it up uh, really quick because Steve Talks About Books and Stuff did a, a whole series of videos in September on short stories. Short Story September, he did a new video uh, every day in September, which I have no idea how he did that because I can barely manage doing three videos a week, never mind doing one every single day. But because, you know, I, tr I went out of my way to try and watch all of them, to say thank you, he sent me a book and I just opened it and he sent me Stephen King, If It Bleeds. Obviously, Steve knows that I am a huge Stephen King fan, so this is the perfect book. It's a collection of short stories, so I just really quick wanted to say thank you, Steve, so much for sending me this book. It is absolutely perfect, and I love it. Thank you so much. Today, Meepers and I are doing the birthday book tag. I saw Jeremy Fee do this video uh, a few weeks ago, a week or two ago, and I thought that, hey, it's my booktube anniversary. It's a good time for me to try and do this tag. This tag was originally created by Average Joe Reads. I will be tagging him and Jeremy Fee in the description box below. You ready, Meepers? Okay. So question number one is, how many years on BookTube are you celebrating? It's just one year for me, so it's exactly one year to the day today. So last year, October 20th, 2020, was when I first officially launched my BookTube channel. Question number two is, what has motivated you to continue making videos? Um, honestly, this might sound corny, but the booktube community and all of you that watch my videos, that is honestly pretty much the only thing that has motivated me to keep making videos. And, you know, sounds corny, I'm sure everyone else says this, but I love talking about books, so I gotta do what I love to do. Question number three is, what are three of your favorite videos that you've made the past year and why? Uh, one of my favorite videos, I will say, is going back to all the way last year, very early in my uh, YouTube career, is when I did a ranking of the four early Bachman books by Stephen King. It was the first time I did a ranking video, and it was the first time that I kind of went off script. And... <laughs> When I first started my booktube channel, I would actually like write out word for word scripts of what I wanted to say. I don't do that anymore. I pretty much just wing it. And that was kind of the first video I did that I actually tried winging a bit of it and really helped me become more confident talking on camera. So that was number one. Number two is going to be the video where I broke down the differences between Me Before You, the book, and Me Before You, the movie. I love comparing books and movies, and it's something I'm probably going to mention later because I really want to do more of that. I just uh, haven't had the time because that video took a lot of time, but I was really proud of it, and I got some great responses from it, so that's definitely another one. For my third pick, I'm just going to say a recent one. It was the first uh, original tag I ever did, which was the ferret book tag. Even though, like, it's a smaller video, I had so much fun putting it together, and it was a great opportunity to show off some of my little critters, so I really like that one as well. Question number four is, what have you struggled with with BookTube over the past year, and how did you overcome that struggle? I think for me, my biggest struggle was, uh, first what I talked about was uh, just being comfortable on camera because I was so worried about being perfect. Like if I didn't say the exact thing I wanted to say, I would literally like start the video all over again. So luckily I've learned about editing since then and that is how I overcame that. So now I'm much more comfortable. Now I'm just able to wing it and if I 
go off on a tangent or I have to stop. I know how to edit that out now, so it's not as terrible. So I'm much more comfortable. So that's definitely something that I've uh, learned over the past year. Question number five is choose one moment that you'd like to relive over the past year. And I think, I guess for me, one of my I guess most exciting moments was probably when I did the new booktuber tab, tag, tab, tag. Up until that point, um, I kind of just made this booktube channel on my own and I had a couple people from Instagram come over, but I didn't know anyone in like the book tube community but when I made that video I all of a sudden I had a bunch of people reaching out to me and now I have made friends with other people in the booktube community and that's been something super 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 helpful and I can't even say the amount of support that that's given me an encouragement to keep going so that would probably be the one thing um just that feeling and that uh, what am I trying to say here? <laughs> See, I'll probably edit this out later. But um, that feeling of finally being welcomed into a community was a great feeling and something that I would definitely love to re relive. Number six is shout out a huge supporter of your channel. And because I'm winging this, I'm sure I'm going to forget someone, but just a couple people off the top of my head, um, Mason in the dark. Mason, if you haven't checked out his channel, I'll link it down below. He does amazing videos. He's so, so funny. He always watches mine and comments on them. And he literally makes me laugh all the time. He's absolutely the best. Also, uh, Reading Nymph, she uh, came over from Instagram. She also has an awesome, uh, amazing booktube channel. I love just listening to her talk about books all the time. She's been a huge supporter of mine. Thank you so much. Um, Steve talks about books and stuff, uh, book buds. Those are just, oh, Hey, Vio over at Attention always leaves comments on my video, and he has an awesome channel as well. I'm going to have to remember to link all of them down below. I always learn something from uh, Pay's uh, Attention video, so definitely check out his channel as well. I'm sure I'm forgetting someone. Uh, Book Buds, they're so nice too. If I didn't mention you, I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> if I think of it later, I'll try to go back and uh, insert it in. Question number seven, an easy one. What's the best book you've read this past year? I So I did a video back around July, like my mid-year, my favorite books of the year so far. Of course, at this point, I'm not ready to pick my favorite and pick just one because I still have some more I want to finish be before the end of the year, and that may change. But um, definitely, if I go back to 2020, um, my two favorite books from 2020 were Starless by Jacqueline Carey and To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Pellini. This year, I've read a bunch of good books. Thankfully, uh, Christine by Stephen King, which I'm a little biased for because that's my name. Loved that one. Uh, the Girl with the Louding Voice, I loved. The Nightingale, I loved. Um... Tokyo Ever After, I absolutely loved. Uh, Cinder, the Lunar Chronicle series, I've absolutely been loving. So many good ones. Those are just a few that I am mentioning for now. Question number eight says, where do you see your channel in a year's time and what do you hope to achieve? The biggest thing that I want to achieve is probably uh, being live or going live. It's something uh, Steve Talks About Books has uh invited me to do and I've always turned it down because for some reason there's just something like I don't know going the thought of going live absolutely terrifies me which I might I know might sound a little strange because I'm on camera but like I mentioned earlier I can edit this video and I can change it and add things to it so it's not as scary but when you're live like you can't change anything you can't take back something you said you just have to go for it so that's something that I hope to achieve in the next year whether it's on someone else's channel or my own I'd really like to experiment and see how that goes I have done it on Instagram once or 
twice, I think. So now I want to try and do it on a booktube at some point. Don't know when. I don't have any specific plans for that, but something that I definitely want to achieve within the next year. So hopefully by next year when I do this video, I'll be able to say that I did it. Question number nine is tag someone whose anniversary is coming up. I don't know anyone specifically whose anniversary is coming up. Uh, Mason, in the dark, I know that you have not had your anniversary yet. I think you still have a couple months to go, but I am tagging you because I know that that anniversary hasn't happened yet. Um, if there's anyone else out there uh, whose anniversary is coming up that I don't know, I'm sorry. I have not been paying that much attention to when people's booktube anniversaries are, so sorry for that. But consider this an open tag if you want to do it. I think it's really fun and a great way to talk about your channel. Hopefully you, if you're watching this, you learned something about me, a little bit more about my channel. So that is all for my booktube birthday. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. I do new videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and on Friday. All right, everyone, happy reading. It's bonus ferret time. Say hi, Meepers. Say hi to everyone. Say hello, my name is Meepers. <laughs> hi, Meepers, say hi. Oh, thank you. Thank you, baby.